these tomatoes didn't get real big, but boy, they are. They have produced. They have produced. I mean, them things are on here like crazy. And these were. These were the early girls. See, this is what early girls should have done. They should have made like huge plants and done, but for whatever reason, those others did not. But these have. Everything in this raised bed's been like crazy. Everything out here has been like it's been on steroids. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I know there's worms on this thing. I, I know, know too. Are. I just couldn't find see, them. Like, you see like where they've there's been, fresh there he poop. is right there. There's fresh poop right there, so there's got to be one there. They're up under these leaves in here somewhere. We got a nice rain, so yeah, everything's perked up. So that's what... Your sweet potato's even blooming right here. Look. Well, all these things. Man, I mean, we've never had tomatoes. That... Now that one look, looks stung. Got a few little, yeah, it's got a few little stings. But most by. of them don't. Most of them are perfect. No, no problem. So now, they're not big, but they can really good. Yeah, they're the easiest canning tomatoes I've found. Yeah. And it's a tomatoes. Look at that. My beans are doing good, aren't they? Yeah, morning glory done wrap itself around everything. If I can't just break it off, we'll just leave it on. Uh, the they're starting to, they're fixing to start blooming. Yep. Yeah, I love them. So we're going to have, these were uh, limas. Yeah, these are the lima beans. These are Henderson. So they should be doing good yeah, before Henderson long. Henderson limas. The rabbit's going to get to eat good today. We're eating the carrots. Yeah. They're getting the tops. They get all the tops. We'll take all these in and do something with them. Now anything a little like this, you know, I'm going to feed that to the rabbits. But. Yeah. There's a few here that's coming on pretty good. It's still edible for us. It's time we clean these beds up some. I'm getting quite a few carrots. Just leaving the ones that are seeding. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, nice. They're starting to get little root hairs. That's why they need to be done now. Yeah, they gotta be got out of here. You start seeing them little hairs form. A lot of people go, oh, that's too much nitrogen. <laughs> no, it's not. It do They're nothing. getting old. They're just getting old. We're leaving the ones that have gone to seed so that we can harvest a few seeds off of them. I, uh, I jumped the gun the other day and cut a few of them a little bit too early. But we, we're harvesting the rest of the carrots. It looks like we're going to have a pretty good, uh, pretty good carrot haul. But this is why we... We tried to leave a few of them in here, but this is what we run into. The, see how the tops of them got all messed up there? Uh, you know, yeah, the bottom of that's still probably good, but the rabbits are going to get to eat some. We're going to give them a little bit. And looks like everything else. The only thing we hadn't talked about is the peanuts. They, uh, they're ready to... Uh, have a little soil put in the top of them and laid all down on the ground, which looks like they're doing it on their own. Some of them are. Yeah, uh, but I'll go through it when I get through and get a chance, get this all cleaned up, get the animals all fed up this morning. I'll probably go through it and kind of make sure they're all on the ground and uh, pull up any grass that's right up around the plant itself and see if I can't go ahead and get them mashed down. The sweet potatoes is coming on real good. Very pleased with that. We gotta get the panels down and clean yep. that up. Gotta get the panels down, get that cleaned up. We got garlic all in this right here. I really regret having put the garlic in my garden. Now I have to wait for it to come back up before I can actually find it. And the grass is taking it. And the, yeah, the grass is taking it over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it mowed until I start seeing them pop back up this fall. And we'll uh, we'll go through and dig them all up and I'm gonna get them out of the garden and put them in a I'm going to put them in a raised bed, a designated place for them so that um, we don't have to be worried with this no more. I, I knew better than to put them down here. Just 
panicking because I didn't have a place to put anything at the time. I was running short on time, short on garden space. This garden has been a disaster since day one. It's new ground. Grass was in it everywhere. It was just woods when I pushed it. I let it set for several months. The grass came back up in it. And I came in and tilled it. I never flat broke it. I should have flat broke it. And then I just tilled it and thinking that was going to be okay. And all I did was just made the grass worse than what it was by chopping up in little pieces and not turning it deep under the soil. Yeah, no, the raised bed, I tilled it and uh, came in and put the boards up, built the soil up with pond dirt and the 30-year-old cow manure. And uh, it, it, it has been fantastic. It's performed beyond belief. Uh, if I could continue this on down through the rest of the garden here, it would take a lot of work off of me as far as having to toy with stupid grass and stuff. This has been a piece of cake to maintain. Because this is a steep hillside. I know on the camera it doesn't show it, but, you know, with me standing right here where I'm at, my head is probably, if I went level, I'm over two foot above the top of that dog panel down there if I was yeah. to go level. It's like a three foot drop going down the hill here. And it's hard to tell that on camera because, I mean, I'm going downhill as I walk. I'm getting shorter and shorter, you know, as I step down. Yep. Uh, you can tell it when you start walking uh, down there. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, sometimes cameras don't do gardens justice. But we've got a good harvest of carrots here. We're going to... About um, a five-gallon bucket. Yeah. There's, quite, there's still a few more I might try to get out of here. But we need to go ahead and uh, the wind's picking up. Feels nice. It's not hot. I'm going to try to knock the rest of this out, guys. And uh, Blessed for the rain. We were blessed to have the rain we had. I can't tell you how much we got today. Yesterday we got an inch, but today, I don't know. I haven't looked at the rain gauge, but it was a should be at least another inch. And in fact, hey, I'm happy with that. Anyway, got to get busy. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to this channel because this is where all of our gardening stuff is going to be. Not at Deep South. It's going to be here. Because this is where we're mainly focusing on setting up new infrastructure, new homestead, what it takes to get stuff up and going, the challenges that go along with it, everything, guys. We're trying to document the whole journey on starting a new homestead from scratch. Ah! <laughs> she said, hurry up. What you doing? Uh, bite me on my finger. She said, you... You should have done been giving me stuff. Boy, she was aggressive. She wanted her carrot, didn't she? <laughs> Man. Ooh, she got mad. Probably mad because I ain't give her none in a couple of days. She gonna do it too. She said, y'all, you rabbits get mad at you. Yeah. Haven't been here. Eating on that green stuff first. All right, here, bad boy. See if he gets mad at you. He don't never get mad. He's the most easygoing rabbit I think I've ever raised in my life. Crazy thing about this is I put all this green stuff in here. They don't eat it mostly during the day. They mainly eat it at night. It'll stay there most of the day, and I'll come back next morning. It'll all be gone. They like it at night. They must sit and eat at night. Well, she's going. You hear her growling? Yeah, she's been grouchy keep this morning. Now. I'm your keeper here. You better not get grouchy. You get grouchy with me, things don't go good. I just stick them up on top. I stick them everywhere. Leave them sticking down through there. They, they feel more like they're in the wild when you do that. They pull them through and eat. Yeah, they feel more natural that way. They want to know what you got. Get out of here. Go on. They want to know what you got. They smell that corn. That's what they Hey, want. get out of my corn. No. Is that what they were after? Yeah. No, Hadassah. Trixie? No. Look at her. Oh. They were smelling my corn and the carrots. Yeah. Go away. You ain't getting my corn. Ah, get out of her Look carrot. at him. <laughs> they said, what's in them buckets? You, you hiding the good stuff. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 
All right, let me move this thing up where they'll... They, they like you hiding the good stuff. Look at it. Come on, they still want to get to them buckets. guys miss candy looks like she's she's bagged up really good right now and her pin bones right here at her tail are sucked in pretty good she's not quite swelled up as much as uh as i think you know they normally are but she is she's getting really close i think she's getting really close so we're gonna need baby boy and girl names for candy yeah she's uh one of them playing say, Rudy. huh say boy huh? Miss she is getting close miss yeah, she's getting pretty close. I don't see any uh, discharge or anything yet, but uh, her bag is really bagged up good. Um, and she hadn't distanced herself, so. No, she hadn't started distancing. <laughs> She'll, uh, that'll be her next thing. She'll start distancing herself. And, um, but I say she hasn't. Every time I turn around, she's up in the barn by herself. <laughs> she loves to go by herself, so that that's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. I, I don't like it that I have all the pastures open right now because I never know where she's going to be at. I like to, when they get close like that, I like to have it where she's, you know. The only thing of, you can do is catch her in the barn and shut the corral. Well, she's not one that usually rambles off in the woods really bad anyway and has anything. Uh, she usually... Her first one did. Remember, we had to go in the woods in the cold weather and get it. Now she's going to have this one in the heat. Hey boy. What you doing next to huh? What are you doing? Huh? Say girl. So we're on baby watch. We're on baby watch. And this is a homemade dinghy basket, ain't it? Yep, one of these baskets I just sit there in the shop one day when it was raining, took some hardware cloth and some uh, rabbit wire, and I decided to make me something. I could wash stuff off in. It's just wire on the bottom too. Yeah. Got the big old hose out here. Works good. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, they're not down scrubbed by no means, but if you want a different setting, you change it and it'll pinpoint it more. Yeah, I'm trying to get pressure the wash them. <laughs> I can pressure wash them off here in a minute now. I'm trying to just mainly get them cleaned up some of the sand off of them, the easy stuff. light so many different settings for it now what I can do is I'll bring it over here you know, one about these bigger ones here I'm gonna just go ahead and pick some of them up and got my good clean bucket here Carrots. Oh boy! Look how big some of them are. You wanna know how to grow carrots, guys? Go check out our Etsy store. I got a carrot manual. Tell us how to grow these babies. 
plus videos. Deep yep. South and Pecan Grove. Got videos. And all that good stuff. Lots of people have trouble growing carrots. Carrots are actually very easy to grow once you learn how to do it. Big old full ears, though. That ear right there, look how big it is. Jeez. You got one right up there. I could two of them.